saying hello today on a beautiful, gorgeous August the 3rd, 2012 from the beautiful Clarington area, which is a travel area just about an hour east of Toronto. And I'm here with Barry Denalco, and your family owns Tyrone Mills, is that correct? No, the owner of the mill, Mr. Robert Schaefer, is on holidays oh, right now. Oh, so you're here yes. holding his spot. I'm holding his spot. Good. Right now. Yeah, I'm the sure he's going to be very sad that he's missed you. Okay, no problem at but all. Anyways, welcome to Tyrone Mill. Uh huh. We were built in 1846. Yes. We are still an operating water-powered mill. Wow. We grind grain for uh -huh. flour here using water power, and we have woodworking tools that we still use that are water-powered. Wow. We'll bring in rough lumber, we'll plane it, we mm -hmm. do custom moldings. Okay. Upstairs, we have our antique woodworking shop with wow. a, a number of woodworking tools that are still water-powered, mm -hmm. like a table saw, a wood lathe, wow. a band saw. We use those to make the Muskoka chairs that uh -huh. we sell right here in the mill. Okay. Okay. So the mill has kind of changed over the years, mm -hmm. but this is the current configuration. Okay. Mr. Schaefer has owned the mill now for 33 years. Yes. So maybe one of the secrets of the success of the mill that it's still running is all the subsequent, all the owners have kept this place for long periods of time. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind and of you've a preserved a piece of Ontario heritage right here. Well, we certainly try to. Uh huh. And I see a lot of uh, gears and what kind of mechanisms are these things here? That is out of the original turbine that was in the mill. Uh huh. Um, when the mill was first built, mm -hmm. they actually had a water wheel. Oh yeah. That sat down in this area right here. Okay. The only problem with a water wheel in Canada. It tends to freeze over in the winter time. Mm -hmm. So as soon as the technology improved and they developed internal turbines for it, that was put into the mill. Okay. So in its day, it was state of the art. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. I'll follow you right in. And this building is actually more than 150 years old. Yes. Yeah. Now here's the millstones that we use. Uh huh. How old are they roughly? They're actually quite old. Uh huh. But there's this one here is the one that we use to grind the grain for flour. Okay. We'll bring in the grain in bags. It goes in the top mm -hmm. little hopper. We turn everything on. This wheel up here is what turns the turbine on. Okay. This wheel is how we adjust the gap between the two millstones. Uh huh. And then the flour will go down here. It goes all the way up to the third floor. With these lovely little mini elevators. That's exactly what it is. Uh huh. And you, uh, there's different kinds of grain in there. Yep. Yeah. So it goes all the way up to the third floor mm -hmm. where it's sifted out. Okay. Once it's the desired consistency, it'll drop down into a big storage container above here. Oh, wow. And we bag it off right back in here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. A very hmm. old-fashioned. Very old-fashioned way of Wait. bagging, yeah, and everything's yes. done by hand. Yeah. Great, awesome. What do we have back here? A nice Muskoka chair, obviously. Yes, that's very nice. the style of chair that we make. Uh huh. These are the original stairs. Oh wow! Yeah, they put in the mill. They've been well worn. Let me tell you, you can see all the footprints are leaving indentations in this in this set of chairs uh, stairs here. More grindstones here. Small ones. This is part of our antique woodworking shop mm -hmm. that we have. Okay. So some of the, the interesting tools that people used to use. Mm -hmm. All the big saws by hand. Okay. Kind of a very unusual saw wow. up here. One person. Yeah. Uh -huh. That is for cutting ice blocks. Oh, ice blocks before refrigeration. Exactly. Yeah. Because out here you have the mill pond. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Look at this spot here. So this is our power source. Mm-hmm. Very nice. And you've got all sorts of bird houses. Bird houses? Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Head over there in a second. Oh, what a nice deck. And of course, this is all open to the customers. That's nice. 
beautiful. Great spot. Are there any fish in here? Yes, there is. Yeah? It's a naturally stocked pond. Uh-huh. Great. This is absolutely beautiful. Actually, before we move on to the next area, is there a website for this mill? At the moment, no. Okay. We don't have a website. We're trying to get one up and running. Yes, that's one thing we you've got to do for sure. We are the old Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's in, you know, in keeping with the theme, right? The manual bagging the of... Thing. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Absolutely. But I've seen a few articles about Tyrone Mills. Yes. So if people want to do a search on the internet, I'll give you the spelling. T-Y-R-O-N-E Mills. And the town here is called... Tyrone. Oh, it's called Tyrone, Ontario. Yes. Okay, perfect. So people Just can read at least... North of Bowmanville. North of Bowmanville. Yeah. People can at least read some articles about you guys. Certainly can, yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Barry. So we'll take a quick tour of the antique woodworking shop. Perfect. And we will. And then we'll go down to the store. Okay.